this is James from North Mississippi once again. Just thought I'd do a quick video, uh, or actually a series of videos, showing the uh, conversion of my 2000 Ford Ranger from internal combustion to uh, a purely electric vehicle. The first few pictures you saw were of the uh, vehicle itself before the conversion. Then there was a set of pictures of the lift and uh, cherry picker that I bought to help me with the conversion. You saw a picture of the uh, all the components we used kind of in a batch and it started showing individual ones. This is the uh, adapter plate and I think you'll see a side view of the adapter plate here. Before that you saw a picture of the hub. This is going to be the uh, O-ring support that goes around the uh, 9 inch advanced DC motor and the next picture is of the double shafted uh, 9 inch advanced DC motor. And we see the uh, MESDEA fluid heater that I use to um, to provide heat for the cab. It actually does a pretty good job. The next thing I've got is a picture of the uh, Raptor controller. It's a 1200 amp capable controller. This is uh, was the 50th one that they made and it does an excellent job. It will provide a tremendous amount of power uh, from the battery pack to the motor and uh, provides all the torque you, you could possibly need. It's just a picture of the cooling fan on the back of it, which is very important. Next, we got a picture of the Zyvan NG5 uh, unit that I used to charge the battery pack from 240 volts um, AC. And it uh, would charge the entire battery pack in about six and a half, seven hours. There's a cutoff switch on the uh, NG5, which we never really needed to use. And I think we're going to see some pictures of the uh, NG3, which is the 120 volt unit that I used to do opportunity charging. You see it also charged at 144 volts, uh, 335 amp hour batteries that I used. And I think we've got a picture of the NG1, which is a DC to DC converter that took the 144 volt uh, pack uh, total and step that down to 14 volts to keep the small battery charge that we used to run the lights and windshield wipers and radio and things like that. Now we've got the uh, breaker switches that I used to actually cut the back to the battery pack off in case of an emergency or when I'm working on it. Then I've got some 2 aught cable um, that we used to uh, make the cables in between the batteries and these are insulators that went on the breaker switches. And you've got the uh, 800 amp fuse it's a slow blow fuse and these are the contactors that are used to actually turn the battery pack on so you can actually move forward. Um, just another view of those. Then we've got a uh, shunt that's in line with the uh, battery pack and it's used to uh, connect to the amp meter so we can tell the current flow through the battery pack. This is just a kind of a set of pictures of all the uh, terminal connectors that we had, some flat ones and some ones positive negative terminals on the batteries. Then I think we're going to come up to uh, some pictures of the amp meter. This is a picture of the uh, Westac amp meter. I also have a voltmeter of the same uh, make and they do a very good job. The only problem you have to have, have to watch out for with these is if you don't get the light in them correctly they will not illuminate at night. But other than that they're very robust meters. We've got a a picture of the Curtis battery indicator here. I did not like this at first, but I've gotten where I really like this meter. It gives you a good indication of how much energy you have left in your battery pack. Now we're looking at a uh, Curtis PB6 pop box, kind of a standard unit. And we've got a MagnaCraft uh, switch that I use to keep from driving off while I'm uh, plugged in. And then I've got uh, just some heat shrink uh, that we use around the ends of the cables and the uh, caps that goes in, on, go on the end of the cables. Next interesting thing is the um, the uh, vacuum system for the brakes. This is made by KTA Services put together. You can see there's a uh, vacuum valve, a uh, vacuum chamber, and uh, you'll see the gas to vacuum pump here in just a second. And this these things work very well. I've got about 35,000 miles on my first uh, conversion using this system and have not had a moment's trouble out of it. I think I've got a picture of my uh, wiring diagram for my entire electric vehicle and it's a very simple setup. I think that's a this is the literature that came with the uh, advanced DC9 motor it shows that uh, it will produce 100 uh, horsepower at 
it to its peak output. And I've got a picture of the pack tracker. You'll see some more um, of this on my next video. Please check it out on YouTube. Thanks for watching.